Everybody, well, and I can't say everybody, but you have a lot of friends or people out there that be, you know, they um have this macho thing about them or they so tough or things like that. I have I have never been like that, things of that nature, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I have never been like that myself. I've always been um a, a humble person. Uh, people that get to know me or be around me or grew up with me, um, they'll know that there's more than two sides. To me, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know the, the streets and that taken and that robbery that was only um, Don Trees in survival mode. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know if you was around me, you would know that I'm just um, hilarious, sense of humor. I mean, even you know you guys, the subscribers and the followers and stuff. You know y'all see my shows and they be true stories and uh ninety percent of them be um serious stories, you know, you know, dramatizing everything, but I still find a way to humorize it, you know, and bring um laughter in it and bring laughter to you guys. And that's because, you know, coming out the box before video Wayne, you know, we did these um documentaries and these films before the untouchable, before college part Terry C P T um, the group I was in, the two groups I was in, um, I wanted to be a comedian, <laughs> just off the box, and that's coming from um, looking at it in living color, growing up and seeing, you know, seeing that right now. So that is always going to be in me, you know, to make you laugh and make you feel good and things of that nature. But you know, depending on the community that you grew up in, the things around you, you know, um, things of that nature. When you're talking about um, funny and smiling and things like that. You, sometimes you have to put that on a back burner. You know what I'm saying? Because out here in the streets, when you show some of those things, people take them things as weaknesses. And in some cases, they are weaknesses. You know what I'm saying? To some people. But growing up, I had a lot of friends that was, of course, old. I was about the youngest out of my clique. And, uh, and you know they was they was you know they was tough. I had some tough friends. You know, started off at bullies and then became my friends and things of that nature. But as we got older and we started selling the drugs and out there in the streets, um, I had friends that really thought they. <laughs> I had friends that really thought that they were tougher than what they showed everybody, man. And it didn't really come out until my cousin Po Blood. <laughs> And I know a lot of y'all remember in College Park, my cousin, Poe Blood. Poe Blood went nothing but an Atlanta Coco Grill. Just like Coco Grill, who Coco Grill is to East Point in College Park, my cousin Poe Blood was an Atlanta uh, one of those. You know what I'm saying? Meaning he was a robber. You know what I'm saying? This is my second cousin. This is my dad's. First cousin, you know what I'm saying? His name is Keith Hutchinson. Big shot side to you, big cuz. But um, like everybody in College Park at East Point know that name, Po Blood. Just like they know Coco Grill, they know Po Blood. And Po Blood mostly did all his robbing, taking, and crime stuff in Atlanta. Because that's where he was, that's where he grew up at. <clears throat> he came out of College Park early, you know, along with like my grandmama, his auntie, and you know they moved out of College Park, Jamestown, and then to Atlanta, Camerton Road, and you know right now to this day, that's where Poe Blood is at. He's he was located in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, doing most of his dirt, you know how, even though he's originally from College Park, you know what I'm saying, but. He moved to Atlanta, grew up up there, you know, the rest of his life, doing his thing, however, however. And then, of course, everybody know that my cousin Poe Blood was on that hair run. And y'all know how them homies are when they need their fix. They going to get it any way that they can. <laughs> so, my cousin Poe Blood had not noticed that we was getting money 
down there in College Park Projects and on the hilltop in our whole little section right there where he is from. You know what I'm saying? So he turned his attention toward the drug dealers in College Park. And like myself, my cousin didn't rob anybody but drug dealers. So if you was a high rank drug dealer, he you know, and he, he knew about you, he was coming to get you or going to try to come get you. Now, even the nickel and dime hustlers on the block had to um, look out for him because he didn't discriminate on how much you had. <laughs> and with that being said, man, I remember the day that he had turned his sights on my hood, which is his old hood. And we standing on the hilltop. We at the store. And I remember a guy coming from the old apartment, which is the projects in College Park, the first built projects, you know, the old apartments, the flatbeds. Big shots out to my homies from the flatbeds. And um, he had went down now, and I guess he had you know, caught some, you know, some people down there gambling, slipping, or whatnot. And he had them robbed. Well, one of the guys had got away and ended up on the hilltop, you know, like running up there and, you know, and, and coming up on us. So as we standing right there, you know, he walked up to us and he said, hey, Trees, man, ain't that your cousin? I'm like, who? He was like, Poe Blood. I'm like, yeah, why you say that? How you know Poe Blood? <laughs> and he was like, man, he got down there in the hood right now, man. He got all the dudes laid down. I'm like, for real? He was like, yeah, man, like, it like 10 of us. And he was like, but he didn't see me, so I, like, crept away and got away from him. But when I left Trees, man, everybody was on the ground, man. And he was standing over them, controlling the crowd. But he was like, everybody laid down, man. And he's standing over them, man. I'm like, for real, man? He's like, yeah, but then he just started back running. He was so scared that he told us that. And then he started running like, man, y'all made, man, y'all be careful. Then I'm like, man, that my cousin. You know what I'm saying? I went, <laughs> I went stunned. So later on, I would say maybe two days later, because he never came up there that night. You know what I'm saying? I guess he like robbed them down there, handled all them. And he got, I guess he got enough from the robbery that he, I, I didn't ever see him that night. I was expecting him to come on up on the hilltop. But he didn't never come up. But it was like two days later. I'm um I'm standing in the project. Well, I'm standing on the hilltop with like two of my friends. And one of them like my big homie. <laughs> and he you know who I'm talking about right now. But um we standing out there and we get word again, like like I said, it's two days later after the first robbery. We get word that um, hey man, I just seen Po Blood down there, man, at the bottom of the hill. By Bar Harlem. I'm like, for real? She said, wonder what Cole was going on with Cole. <laughs> but, I, but I know what's going on with him. If he in College Park, it ain't no other reason for him to be in College Park unless he's coming down there robbing or taking something with somebody. So I'm like, man, Cole down there? Man, I'm, I'm finna walk down there. Well, but when I say that, one of my partners, two of us, well, two of my partners standing with me, and three of us standing right there. And this where this where I goes this where it goes to when you know for years you be out there on the block and you know like this is my big homie I look up to him and he one of the toughest guys I know you know he learned me the streets he learned me the streets you know what I'm saying and you know looked out for me you know put work in my hand helped me out you know showed me how to manage money so this is one of the top dogs that's in College Park right now my partner for as the hustler on the block doing his thing. And when he hear that Poe Blood is in town, the first thing he say is, hey, Treese, man, tell your cousin I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? He didn't say, hey, 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 Treese, man, man, tell your cousin I'm your partner, man. I'm your homie, man. You know, for he won't rob me, man. Tell your cousin we like that. He was like, hey, man, tell your cousin I'm your friend <laughs> to the end. <laughs> but it's crazy, though, man, how 
dudes be out there on the block. It can be my partner ugly. It can be your partner, whoever it is. I don't discriminate on when I'm telling the truth and when I'm telling these stories and when I'm telling true facts. It's so crazy how you out there and you're tough. I seen you do this, do that. You don't play no games. If you get banged up for some, some yams, you know, you keep your mouth closed. You take your beard. You come home. One of the toughest dudes I know. And this goes for a few of my partners out there in College Park doing their thing. When my cousin Paul Blood come in town, man, but them folk get to scattering like cockroaches, man. For real, man. Get to calling me or, or coming over there where I'm at. Want to stand by me. Hey, 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 Trees. Man, 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 tell, tell your cousin we friends. <laughs> hey, hey, you be thinking about the, the Teddy Ruxpin um, um, dog. <laughs> like the little chicken dog. I'm your friend to the end. Hey, man, but... It's crazy that everybody has their match. You know what I'm saying? Even me, whatever, whatever. Everybody has their match. Ain't nobody too big to get taken care of, man. And all that um, tough rah, 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 rah. When the match match up, man, that goes out the wonder, man. That go to panicking. Y'all seen first 48, how it always be. Them dudes be where they is on the block. But then time, they get matched up with something. In life, it can be anything. It don't have to be a person. It can be a situation. Man, them folk go to talking. They go to copping deuces. They go to saying, trees, save me. <laughs> so y'all can imagine. Y'all can imagine the block. You know what I'm saying? 10, 15 homies on the block. And then my cousin come through there and rob everybody but me. Man. I'm talking about have everybody laying down, but I don't never get on the ground. Everybody get down right now. Get on the ground. Y'all know what it feel? Make it happen. <laughs> everybody hit the floor. I'm still standing up. He walking past me. Uh, go in here, pocket. Go in here, pocket. Go in here, pocket. What's up, cuz? You good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> hey, like, uh, like, uh, uh, what's the name of the show with, with two pot little minute? With um Blaze. Blaze went down raw. <laughs> hey, you want a piece of that? He told my uh my else. You want a piece of, not my else, um uh, uh what y'all know who I'm talking about? Um The black guy who played the high learning. But but uh juice when um uh, Blaze robbed the bar. <laughs> hey, Q, you want a piece of that? <laughs> that how my cousin That how my cousin walk. Get out, y'all know what it is. They'll make it happen. Everybody just start get coming out their pocket. He don't, cause he ain't touching that. He want everybody to put that money down right there, right up, all on the ground. And while he looking at everybody, to make sure everybody doing that thing. He got a pump shotgun, man. I'm talking about pump shotgun. Then he got some. He got to be his overalls. He got overalls. <laughs> straight, straight Georgia robbery. He got some overalls on with no shirt. Up on the overall, y'all see how they look with no shirt up on the overall, but he got a pump shotgun down that thing. You got a pump shotgun down that thing, and you can see the butt because it go all the way down. So the butt popping about right here. But he got everybody on the ground, everybody pulling out that money, putting that dope in front of them, laying in front of y'all. I said, Make it happen. <laughs> that was his favorite line, y'all. Make it happen. And then when he got everybody down, he going walking past and walking past. He look at me. He's still standing right there. Tree. Cuz. What's up, boy? You want some of this? <laughs> no, cuz. How do you beat it, cuz? How do you beat it? You know, I, I ain't finna stop him. He need a fix. You know, however. I, you know, this did my big call. You know what I'm saying? Got me about 15, 17 years or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? But what's crazy is this. Once he robbed everybody and he leave, who y'all, who y'all... <laughs> Who y'all think they looking at? Tree. Man, your cousin wrong, man. Man, your cousin wrong, man. So so what's crazy is, after that, man, every time they even heard his name or somebody thought that they seen him, man, the hood either got the hell on or the hood want to come stand, stand beside me. But y'all know, know the last robber. He laid everybody down still. So standing next to me might not be your safest bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
Hey, man, it's real talk, man. Listen, my cousin Poe Blood is a beast. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to name the show, y'all. My cousin Poe Blood is a beast right here. Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> and I'm just thinking about it. So, hey, man, it's so crazy, though, man, because when that man came through, if something like if one person seen him before he got to see them and stuff like that, and they say, hey, boy, hey, y'all, that go Poe Blood. Man, the whole hood take out running. <laughs> Hey, man, thank y'all for tuning in, man, to another great episode of Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer, Dontrese Knox, OG Black Boy 3700, Collie Paul, stand up and watch out for Poe Blood.